what, what, what would get rigged up here? What's, what's uh, going getting, on today? We this getting, is not something I normally do. So what's going on today? Well, we were getting rigged up to go crappie fishing because winter crappie fishing in Kansas is fun. What, what lure is that? We got a little pink. It looks looks kind of like a gummy worm. Yeah, like a just a little standard sour gummy worm. Flap tail, a couple eighth ounce jigs rigged up. So we got tandem. two of them. Yeah, so we got tandem. So we got two of them. Yep. All right. Not uncommon to catch two on one drop. So. So that's what we're doing today. Some I've never really done. We're gonna try to do a catch and cook. I know John B did his go to the store, buy a fish and cook. I'm gonna try to actually do a catch and cook. Um, this morning we caught some bass. I'm not even gonna tell you what we caught. If you haven't seen the video, I'll leave it down below. It was a pretty, pretty lit video. We only got a fish for like an hour and a half, two hours, and we freaking smoked them. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll drop, I'll drop the link. You don't need to watch that before this one, but you should check it out because it's pretty sick. But today we are going crappie fishing. Crappie fishing is something I've really never done and you know it just kind of sounded interesting and i know some of you bass guys are probably like dude flair what the hell why are you crappie fishing that's so lame hey it's gonna be sick all right we're gonna catch them and we're gonna cut them up and we're gonna fry them and then eat them and it's gonna be sweet So that's the brush pile, right? Yep. Yep. That right there is the brush pile that we are, uh, that we're gonna fish. We're out on a lake, obviously. Like I said, we're crappie fishing. We're going after crappie. I've got little little tandem jigs going on. Should be kind of fun. It's kind of, it's, it's warmed up. It's not like 20 degrees and 20 mile an hour wind and everything freezing up. It's actually quite pleasant out here. So I'm kind of glad that we decided to do this. Kind of kick back, relax. Hopefully catch some uh, some keeper. What's a keeper? What? How long do they have to be? Ten. Yeah. So you got to catch ten, and then the limit's ten. Twenty. Twenty. Don't so. hold me to the limit though. We're just gonna get you enough to eat. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So we just got to catch some ten inchers. Is all we is all we need. Is some ten inch crappie. Those are good eater size. Got to catch a handful of those little dudes. But we're gonna see if uh, Brian can can show me a little something about crappie fishing, and then hopefully I can you know give that give that to you guys. So maybe if you want to go catch crappie, that you can. So you let it sink down to the bottom? Yep, just all the way down to the bottom. And then... Bring it up like two or three. So we just kind of got to figure out where they're at. Okay. Or the giant oh! <laughs> there you go, first one. Just got the camera rolling. We just pulled into our second spot after not catching any. And that's a keeper, ain't it? Oh, yeah. Like, that's a big one. Uh, oh, dude, that's a good one. That's a white, ain't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, so white. I, really I, see, I know a little bit about crappie. Not a ton. You really only see black crappies down here in, like, state fishing lakes. Like okay, so we got the first first one of the day. Little, that's your crappie little sandwich whitey. right there, bud. Crappie sandwich. We're sitting out here in the, in the freezing cold. I was seeing earlier how it's... That's a fish. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Dude, what do you have? I don't know. It's... Oh, I bet you have a big eyeball or something. Oh, God. I got something big, dude. <laughs> oh, dude. No. No, it came off. Oh, dude, I bet that was a big eye. Oh, my God. Big my, is, is, is this hook bent out? Son of a gun. I was just saying. I don't know what I was just saying. I was talking about something. I just missed one. I'm going to bend my hooks back a little bit. See if I can keep them pinned. They're just a hair, hair bent. You're on? <laughs> oh, we got him, boys. I dropped the poles. I think we found them. It just went from, like, crappie fishing being to the most boring, freaking way of fishing to now I'm freaking excited. Flair's eating tonight. I'm eating tonight. I'm not, I'm not going to starve. No Jimmy John's. Sorry, Jimmy John's, but no Jimmy John's. You're on it. What the? F what are you? <laughs> what? How? Oh, that's just a little guy. Yeah. All right, that makes me feel a little bit better. Definitely found the school. We were on a we were on a pretty good sized brush pile earlier. No bites whatsoever. Literally pulled up, first drop, bam. We dropped on them. I don't know what I had hooked up. I had something big. Big one. God dang. <laughs> this one's a big one. You the oh. crop. Oh, Dude, you are the crappie master. I can't even I can't even get a bite other than something, but Look at you. Bam, look at them slabs though. They got shoulders and everything. Okay, I give up. I give up. 
I give up. You're making me feel bad. You're a nut, nut. Oh, that's a so cute. That one's 10. Do you just not want me to fish? No, you can no, fish. Fine. I'll take a break. <laughs> We're gonna you, gotta, you gotta let me catch them. I guess these crappie are just anti. They're just not flare fins, you know? They're kind of like most of my subscribers. They pretty much hate me. They're just not flare fans. Oh yeah, that's kind of cool. Those are those are our jigs right there. Little those little streaks. Look at that! I brought my jig up to the fish and he hit it and I missed it. Oh shit! That's the fish and those are my jigs. Yeah. And he came right up to it and then he missed it. We're making a quick little switcheroo, hoping that this is going to be the uh, the juice color. The school of uh, crappie kind of died off a little bit. So we're taking off the all shard truce, keeping electric chicken. And is there a name for that one? No, just red and chartreuse. Red and chartreuse is all <laughs> clever. I like it. All right, let's make a move. We're headed to the third brush pile now. First one, not so good. Second one, really good. And we're hoping this, this third one can produce a, a few more keepers for us. All those dots, those are fish. Is that what you said? Yep. Is there, and that's brush next to it? Yep. So we got brush on the right and fish on the left. It's game time. Well, there we go. First drop. First drop. We got one. There's one. Oh, There's one. Oh gosh, the crappie curse. The crappie curse has been lifted. I don't know if it's a keeper or not. Oh, it's, oh, it's a one. white son of a. <laughs> Are you kidding me? The one time I actually can catch a fish, it's not even the right species. I mean, I'm normally not one to complain about catching a fish, but. For this, for this challenge, this is not what we want. Well, I take that back. We're gonna, we're actually gonna keep this white bass. There's no limit, or there's no size limit, right? No. Okay. Yeah, we're keeping the white bass. I was just gonna go for crappie, but you know, white bass aren't the worst tasting things in the world. And uh, for the sake of me not catching anything, I want to contribute to this little little stock pile of fish. So we're gonna keep keep that little bugger. I, I want to catch a crappie though. But I'm, I'm kind of content now. I was, I was kind of upset for a second now that we kept it. I'm okay. All right, so we're back home. It's time to, time to clean these bad boys. We're going to let the, uh, the chief do it. I'm not going to do it. I mean, I can do it, and I have done it, but I'll probably butcher the heck out of it. So I'm going to let the, uh, the pro do it. You guys are, are going to watch. So if you got, this kind of video is for you guys to learn. Um, the recipe for this will probably be down in the description, maybe. Um, at least the majority of it, but... You guys can take some notes on how to how to fillet a crappie or white bass. But yeah, it's pretty easy. You just make a sl slit right behind the gill, and then cut right down the spine, and then take out the ribs. Just get the fillet off the skin. It's pretty easy. crappie filet there you go yeah that's that's the end result we got a got a bowl full of meat that we are we're gonna cook up i'm pretty excited we got some ingredients i'm gonna show you guys what ingredients we got picked out i'm gonna show you a little bit how to cook them and how to eat them that's mainly the only thing i'm tutorialing tutorialing is that even a word i couldn't even teach you guys how to catch the fish today i couldn't teach you guys how to clean the fish i can't even teach you how to cook them but i can teach you how to eat them okay so we're ready to go we got the fillets we've just got an egg wash but first we're just going to mix up just a generic fish fry mix uh shore lunch is my favorite but they actually recalled it recently so but you just put that in a bag just like this makes it way easier to contain all that stuff in there when you dip the fillets in first just take the fillet Dip it in the egg wash. You can use milk too. I just like egg wash. It makes it stick a little bit better. And then from there, straight in the mix. Shake and bake. Shake and bake. Yeah. What? Shake and bake. Just make sure it's nice and coated. That's about what you want to see. Once your crappie's ready and prepped, then get the oil heated up to about 325, 350. Um, Got to account for when you put these in, it's going to cool it down quite a bit. So just go ahead and lay them down in there.
right there is the finished product. Got some uh, some crappie. You always gotta have the tater tots. Tastes pretty freaking good. It's about the only thing that I have to say about this whole thing is I may not be able to catch them. I may not be able to clean them. I may not be able to cook them. But I can eat them.